Hello Guardians, Miss Reapathy here with a guide for this week's Nightfall and rewards that my fire team and I got. This week's Nightfall is the Undying Mine, and the modifiers are Solar Burn, Catapult, Juggler, and Fresh Troops. For the first part of the strike, you need to kill the three Blights. Basically, you need to take this part slow and stick with your fire team, and you should be fine. The same strategy should be used when going up the stairs. When going up the stairs, watch out for the Taken Phalanxes because they might launch you or your team off the edge. Once you get inside, go up the stairs and there will be three wizards. I suggest using your golden gun or the titan solar hammer to take them out quickly. Doing this will despawn all the enemies. If you do not kill them quickly, watch out for the thrall that the wizards spawn because their melee is solar. And also the knight's solar wall is something you have to watch out for. For the next part, there will be a ton of taken blights and some sleeping minotaurs. You can literally just run right past them. As long as you don't shoot or step in the black auras, you will not wake them. Once you get into the boss room, clear the adds and the boss will spawn. The Undying Mind does solar damage, and even just splash damage can really hurt. I suggest that if you have a solar titan that you use that super to take out the adds. If you don't take out the adds quickly, you can easily be overrun. Once all the adds are dead, go back to focusing on the boss. Rinse and repeat, and hopefully without much trouble, you should be able to take the boss down. Now on to the fun part, the rewards. For my first Nightfall, I got the Bog Wild 1.0 helmet with 284 light. It has 52 intellect and 51 discipline. The perks were gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of darkness and replenish health when you pick up an orb. Reapathy got the Chloric Dragon SRT 49 with 300 attack. The perks for this rocket launcher are kills with this weapon grant a brief boost to the sprint's top speed and increases the pickup radius of ammo drops and Cowboy got 10 strange coins. For the second Nightfall, I got a Solar 1000 Yard Stare with 280 attack. The perks are kills with this weapon while critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health, and it's easier to aim under fire. Rebathy got the Bog Wild 1.0 boots with 282 light, and 57 intellect and 59 discipline. The perks are increased ammo for sidearms and increased agility for 5 seconds after Solar double kills. Cowboy got the Down and Doubt hand cannon with 293 attack. His perks were a chance to refill the weapon's magazine when critically wounded, and kills with this weapon reduce the cooldown of grenades. For my third and final Nightfall, I got the Telesto. From what I've heard, this fusion rifle is amazing. Its exotic perk is that fusion projectiles attach and detonate with delayed void blast. On top of its exotic perk, it also has a perk where multi kills with the weapon has a chance to spawn orbs. Reapathy got 13 strange coins, and Cowboy got the Havoc Pigeon, with 294 attack. Its perks were causing damage to this weapon increases its stability, and kills with this weapon grants a brief boost to sprint top speed. Well that wraps up today's video, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to be notified whenever we post a new video. In the comments down below, let me know what you got from the Nightfall. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!